So let's just jump uh, straight into this. And so for this first part, talking about the three laws of thermodynamics, we're not going to have too much of an emphasis on it. But if you feel like going more in depth, feel free. It just wouldn't be the most effective use for your time. But knowing the definitions and the general reasoning behind them is worthwhile. So the first law, also called the law of conservation of energy, is simply that. Energy must be conserved. It can be converted from one form to another, but you can't create energy out of the blue and you can't destroy energy. Um, the second law, the total entropy of the universe must always increase in every spontaneous reaction. And then the third law, the entropy of a pure, perfectly crystalline structure at absolute zero or zero degrees Kelvin is zero. <laughs> so, brief overview. Not very high yield, but now we get into the high yield stuff. So here's the classical equation of thermodynamics. It is Gibbs free energy and its relation to enthalpy and entropy. Now, we will do a deep dive into the delta G, delta H, delta S in a second. But the most important thing that you just need to know right now is that the units are very specific. Delta G is in kilojoules, delta H is in kilojoules, and so by default, delta S is in joules. You can never be that straightforward. Um, the fact that delta S is in joules is going to be the number one determining factor if you get an answer wrong in a calculation-based question for um, Gibbs free energy. Now, even though it is joules, there's probably going to be an answer choice where it is in kilojoules. Um, but the main thing that you're probably going to get from this section, if you do get a question, isn't going to be calculation based, or at least in the general term. It's going to be based on the concept. So this formula relates delta H and then delta S to delta G. And you were probably gonna have to determine whether delta H, delta G, and delta S are positive and negative based on just sentences or a story or um, basically any kind of combination. But so let's kind of get into delta G, delta H, and T, delta S in the next section.